My Lord, I wanted to assist the court and, uh, because my learned friend has, I believe, filed a substantive application so that the court does not hear speeches in the court. My learned friend should identify what application he is ventilating so that even we taking notes know what we should be responding to. That's all I want to say. Uh, Professor Bulgari he was a former attorney general. I respect him. He was also my teacher, my professor for criminal law. But my Lord, uh, the point that I wish to make uh, is that I am acting for specific clients today, and that's before the court. I should be had in silence in the response. And I've indicated that we have formal applications. What we are raising is an issue that is arising from what Judge Murima has indicated. We could not put it earlier in an application. So if I may proceed, my Lord, the issue is this, that we expected a notification in writing that these judges have been appointed and they would seek on a particular day. All those notifications, including in cases of abductions, have been that the first city by a bench has been on a working day. All applications, and that are of this as a fact. So then the first clarifications would be, on what basis would, in an application by the executive, be convened on a Saturday? That is a substantive issue because of the second reason that our background that we are giving. But under the 2010 Constitution, the Constitution provides for the Bill of Rights. My Lord, under the former Constitution, Well, under the former constitution, we used to have a practice in which we had an officially a bill of immunities for the state, where the constitution, the state could conduct its business on weekends and outside court sitting hours. But not because of that reason, that's why I'm saying, this we are sitting here pursuant to the orders made in And my Lord, we are also sitting here pursuant to an order made by the Honorable Chief Justice. My Lord, for purposes of Article 165, I believe it's four, of the Constitution, the powers of the Chief Justice to appoint a bench is a substantive power. It is not administrative. This power, my Lord, cannot be shared by the Deputy Chief Justice or with the Deputy Chief 